It's finally happening. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some big big breaking news in this video but before we get started give the video a huge thumbs up let's get over 300 likes with this video look at that like count if we're not at 300 help the cause all right let's get right to the news it's been discovered today 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 nvidia has a job listing a job listing that points to a nintendo switch pro this is coming from pocketlint.com let's get to the article and of course i'm not just going to read the article i'm going to share my thoughts this is what the article says <coughs> The Nintendo Switch OLED might only be around for a year for so far. Of course, the Switch OLED, I have mine's coming. I think it's coming on Wednesday, so I'll probably do an unboxing. I'm a little late to the party, but hey, I got about seven Switches already. I wasn't urgent to get another Switch with a better screen, but I'm getting it. But that doesn't mean certain parts of, the, of its internals aren't getting a little past their sell-by date. Every version of the Switch has had at its heart an nvidia tegra x1 of course the same processor in the launch switch the article continues and it's done sterling work given the output of the little console over the last few years i have to say this <laughs> even though right now switch is behind the pace as far as technology there i have had some wow moments like wow this little handheld is producing graphics of that level i remember when doom first came out on the switch looks great on the handheld all right from Super Mario Odyssey to a full port of Doom Eternal. Ha! I just mentioned that. There are some marvelous looking games on the Switch. There are. Now though, Nvidia might be looking to step things up with a new processor that could be perfect for a next generation Switch or Switch Pro. <laughs> a job listing posted by the computing giant on LinkedIn contains some firm clues about what the job is intended for. In this section, in the section defining the roles, it says responsibilities would include having to, and here's the job description. This is the juicy stuff. Create graphics profiler features for NVIDIA GPUs, enabling developers to achieve higher and more consistent frame rates. That's more horsepower. That has been my biggest thing with the Switch. Not so much the resolution, even though you don't want the minimum 1080p but frame rate minimum 60 frames per second there's so many games on the switch at 30 frames and below this is the sixth the, the second section in the job listing implement graphics debugging features by reading writing gpu registers and memory and by processing and manipulating gpu commands at the driver level so someone to work on a new gpu and this is the last part of this job listing that really has my eyes open. Work closely with internal and external partners, including other peer organizations within NVIDIA. <coughs> partners, to work closely with NVIDIA partners. Obviously, Nintendo, what is NVIDIA's arguably biggest partner right now? Nintendo, where there's smoke, guess what there is where's my fire gift where there's smoke there's fire bro and so it looks like it is happening it is happening it is happening that's my wrong gift whatever um but let's keep going of course all right it's the article says why there's no obvious mention of nintendo the key factor is that no other mainstream console uses an nvidia chip both PlayStation and Xbox use AMD. 
So unless it's signed a major secret deal, there is a healthy chance that this is in relation to Nintendo's future plans. Of course. All right, and so this is what this article is saying now. So NVIDIA is working, um, looking, hiring engineers to work on a new chip that produces higher frame rates, higher frame rates and an all new uh, GPU and manipulating working with a new GPU. And so this obviously, in my opinion, obviously points to a new Switch model. Can't wait to see what Nintendo has cranked up um, in store for the new Switch. I think it's about time, about time. Whether they go Switch Pro, Switch 2, I said in my last video, I think it should be at least on an Xbox Series S level. And I think Nintendo can make this happen. Also, also, bro, the news does not stop with just one item. Bro, this is also pretty, pretty dope. An all new Switch Pro controller has been officially announced by Nintendo. Uh, this is coming from the Nintendo UK Twitter account. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller featuring a Malzino design launches alongside the massive DLC expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on June 30th. On June 30th. What is the Switch Pro Controller I'm currently using? This one right here. This came with, um, I, I purchased this with Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch. I will be playing it tonight with a couple of the sponsors on my gaming channel. I still have to beat Monster Hunter Rise. But this new controller is very similar. Instead of gold, it has a silver and of course a different monster um, with the theme of the new Sunbreak DLC, which is dope, dope, dope. Probably we'll, getting, we'll be getting that at launch. I tell you this, <coughs> Monster Hunter Rise is the best looking third party game on the Switch or one of top three best looking third party games on the Switch. That is, uh, Monster Hunter Rise is an example of a third party developer actually taking time out and maximizing the hardware of the Switch. Monster Hunter Rise, is on the first party quality level for a Nintendo Switch game. So if you haven't played Monster Hunter Rise, it's an easy, easy um, th um, third party game recommendation for the Switch. And the last news item for this video, Nintendo Switch Sports is, is having pretty good software sales for the fourth week in a row. It is the number one selling game in the UK. The top three games, Nintendo Switch Sports. Number two is Lego Star Wars Sky Skywalker Saga. And number three, Horizon Forbidden West. And so all um, it's good to see that Switch Sports is selling good on the Switch. Um, Nintendo's trying to strike second gold with um, the Switch Sports. We all know what happened on the Wii with Wii Sports. It sold like hotcakes. And I think Nintendo did it right this time. First, get your install base that's going to actually buy games. And then, release this game. <coughs> Don't be surprised. I mark my words. This holiday 2022... There's a Switch Sports bundle that comes with the Switch. And so um, it'll sell like hotcakes. Nintendo is going to have a fantastic 2022 Switch Sports. It's going to be an evergreen title. We all know games like Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, Mario Strikers. Those are going to be evergreen. Those are going to always sell. But you also have, Nintendo has Pokemon in its back pocket. And so can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Switch Pro, Switch Pro, NVIDIA job listing. It looks like it's happening, ladies and gentlemen, sooner rather than later. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section. But, oh, my kids wanna come in. I'm gonna let them do the bro with me. All right, come on, come on, hold on. Hey, don't click off this video, let my kids do it. All right, sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. 
but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. We out, boy.